now it does. There, okay. uh, hi guys, as promised, this is the video tutorial on how to do your new uh, rent roll with online banking and app folio. And uh, as I've said in training, whether you're doing one check or ten checks, uh, you have to do the entire protocol. So if you have a copy of the protocol handy, I'd suggest you take it out right now. Uh, we're going to have to record this video in segments, so I think you could easily just follow along with the protocol. Uh, so I encourage you to take that out. And then just a reminder that uh, we're going to limit our batches to 10 checks at a time because, uh, as I said in the email, um, uh, it's going to slow things down if you deposit too many checks. Okay. So before we start, or before you actually begin, as the protocol says, uh, you have to... Uh, count the checks and come up with a total. So for today's uh, protocol, what I'm going to do is just four checks. Uh, so I have my four checks here, one, two, three, four. And then I'll just open up my little calculator here, and you don't have to see this up close, but I'm just going to add them up uh, together. And, oops, this one there. And one, four, two, five, and two, one, two, three. So I come up with a figure. So I have four checks, and I and I've totaled them all together. And for the purpose of this, uh, I'm coming up with a figure of sixty-five ninety. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do it a second time. Okay, so now that I have uh, the total four checks and the, the actual uh, total of the deposit, I'm ready to begin uh, with step one. So you can go ahead and pause. Okay, so we're starting with step one, which is we've gone to appfolio or uh, northwest.appfolio.com, and I'm going to log in with my username and password. And then as it says on the protocol to begin, we're going to click on the People tab. And you'll see your A through Z here with your tenants listed below. And my very first tenant is Jorge Furuya, starts with an F. So I could either click on F and find him in the list here. Although, you know, what you're seeing here is the master account, so I see all tenants. But you can easily just go right here to the search box and start typing in the last name, he pops right up. So we want to click on his name, go to the tenant page, and the thing we're looking for is what is the subtotal or the balance owed, 1520. That is actually what he paid me. So I'm going to go ahead over here and enter receipt. 1520 is what shows. The receipt date is today because it's the uh, you know February 1st and that's when I'm going to make my deposit. I go ahead and enter in the check number. And that all is uh, matches out perfectly, and so I have another check to add, so I'll go ahead and click on Add Another. And then the next tenant of my four checks is Jonathan Weigel, so I'll just go ahead and start typing in his last name. There he is. Click on his name. And just for the sake of it, um, if you ever look at this balance here, like Jonathan says 1495, if it is a little off and, and you're kind of like, well, that doesn't add up, all you have to do is go over here to the right to reports and click on tenant ledger. And that's going to open up a actual ledger for the tenant and show you what you know, he's being charged. So in this case, Jonathan's being charged $14.55 in rent and $40 in cable for a total of $14.95. And that makes sense. Um, so that's how you can always see where your tenants or what they're actually paying. And if it's off, just email Denise and get it corrected. But Jonathan did pay $14.95, so we're going to head and go ahead and enter receipt. $14.95, today's date. We enter in the check number, $193, and we're going to add another. <clears throat> and we want to look for this confirmation here at the top. The re this receipt for $14.95 has been recorded. Always make sure you get that before you move on to the next tenant. Then the next one. Uh, it's Kute Armagon. So we just start typing in his name. There he is. Click on his name. Go to the tenant page. $14.35. That's exactly what Kute paid. 
We enter the receipt, <clears throat> 1435, today's date, enter the check number, 1096. And since this is the third of fourth checks, I'm going to add another. I get the confirmation. I move on to the next one, which is Miller Stevens. <clears throat> and there he is. Miller and his total is 2140. That's exactly what he paid. My tenants are always really good at paying exactly the right amount. Uh, 2140, second of February. Enter the check number 971. And this is the last check of the batch of four. So instead of add another, I'll just click done. And then I still get the confirmation there that the payment has been recorded. So we've now completed step one of the protocol. We're going to keep going. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and log into uh, Foundation Bank. <clears throat> and I'll log in with my password. And my, or I'm sorry, my username and password. And everybody always uses the company name <clears throat> of NCREI. Then I log in. I get to the main page, and so now we're going to just take a break so we can back the camera up a little bit. Oh, actually, wait one second. Uh, to get the first thing you want to do is you want to click on transactions. Then you want to click on Remote Deposit with Digital Check, but I'm going to back up the camera a bit because I want you to see the uh, actual scanner. Okay, Okay. so we're continuing with step two, and we've just backed up the camera so you can get a shot of the scanner now with the screen. And as you can see, there's no light, but what I have done is I've plugged it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and connect it via a USB port to my computer and you'll get a red light, okay, and that tells you that that has now power. And then if you recall, I was going to click on Remote Deposit with Digital Check. I'm going to do that now. This will now activate the scanner, and you'll get a green light. And that tells you it's now ready to rock and roll. But on the screen, you want to wait until the device actually fully initializes, okay, Ooh, and now we're going to have to go back to the screen. Okay. So uh, we're here on this screen, and what we're going to do is we're going to click Create New Deposit. And the location, uh, for me, it's going to say Castellan, because this account is just for Castellan, my building. But, you know, someone like Shannon, who manages a couple buildings, or, uh, you know, uh, you may have to select from a pull-down menu and select which building are you depositing into. Uh, deposit name, date, just leave that alone. And then this is where we needed this information I wrote down. Uh, four checks with a grand total of $65.90. Okay? Then I, and I want to use decimals. Uh, then I go ahead and click Create Deposit. And this page takes a, a few seconds to load. You want to let it fully load here. And, and I, I want to, I'm going to just let you watch because this is what I want you to see. Now it has fully wrote, uh, loaded and it says right here, device ready, okay? So now we're gonna back up a little bit again. Okay, we backed up so you can now see the scanner. We're still, uh, it says device ready here. So one check at a time, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. You get a yellow light, which tells you you can let it go and it'll scan it and you'll see a print on the back which says it's been scanned. Then the next one. Get a yellow light, green light says go, yellow light, yeah, it's a little tricky. Okay, and what I didn't say is as each, as I'm scanning each check, you actually see them appearing here on your screen with the image of it right below, okay, and that's what you want to look for. And so now we've scanned the checks. Okay, and this is the page that we see here with my f uh, four scan checks. The last one is showing here from Miller. And so what we want to do now is click Next Summary. And then, uh, well, this obviously they're really working fast here because this doesn't happen very often. In the protocol, it says this is where you want to take about a five minute break. And I'm still going to do that because even though these two numbers match, it may not be 
formally deposited yet. But here's what we're looking for. You click on existing deposit. You click on open deposit. Then it will take you to the page that you just looked at before, but something's going to be a little different here. You have a control number and a scanned number. Control and scanned. They both need to match. And if they do, then you can click Next Summary, and then you want to actually click that box again and close the deposit. Closing the deposit then puts the money in the bank. Now, we'll take a little bit of a break. Okay, so we closed the deposit and we took about a five minute break um, and now we're back to foundation. We're going to click on reports at the top here. Then the very first thing is deposit results. And Castellan again, if you, whatever building you're working on, make sure it says that there. Don't worry about this one and then you want to make sure the date field says the day you're working on, which it does and then we click on get deposits and then you can see the two deposits I've done today the one we just did for 6590 and here's what we're looking for this word deposited right here that now means the money is in the bank that's we're ready to proceed okay so over here on the left we're gonna click on view <clears throat> This will take you to the actual deposit detail page where the actual deposit is highlighted in red and below it are the four items that I deposited, the four checks. I want to now print this page. So I'm opening up my printer and printing. You don't need to see it being printed. <laughs> you can just guess. <laughs> what it looks like. Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second here. <laughs> okay, so you have a printout. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a highlighter pen. Whoops, sorry folks. <clears throat> and you're going to highlight the deposit. Now you are done with step two. Okay? But we're going to now go back to Appfolio and do step three, which is record the deposit. So we click on accounting. We go over to the right here under tasks and click new bank deposit. Then we make sure that it says the building name you're working on and as it says Castellon operating logged in by and I'm logged in as James but it will say your building name Harrison Hillcrest whatever and then you might have to click search but as you can see immediately below are the four tenants that I entered in the deposit date is today they're all checked here which is including them in the deposit <clears throat> and most importantly the subtotal here is 6590 which matches our our bank deposit perfectly <clears throat> And so we want to click on Make Deposit. Now you're taken to a bank deposit receipt and you want to print this. It will open up a PDF that you can then print. And we're going to print this one. Actually, pause it for a second. Okay, so uh, we're back, and basically, this is the new printout I just printed from Appfolio. And again, what I'm going to do is use my highlighter pen and highlight the total. And then I take my printout from Foundation, my printout from Appfolio, and I staple them together. I take the four checks that I scanned, and I get a paper clip. And I'm going to paper clip these to these printouts. I'm going to fold that nice and neat. And this would be one batch completely done, and it goes in a Mylar bag. And right now, I've already developed several for Castellan because I'm just doing this, and you know, so I'm keeping them all nice and neat in one safe place. And when I'm completely done with rent roll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this in a Mylar bag, 
fill out the bag per the protocol, seal it, and then send that to the office by the 8th. So that's how you do rent roll now. Step 1, 2, 3, 1 or 10 checks. Go forward, my friends. Thank you. Okay, sorry guys, I did miss one step, so I'm taking my checks back. Uh, you must endorse the checks, okay? So we all have one of these. Endorse, 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 endorse. And now I can clip them together and fold them neatly. Okay, thank you. Bye.